Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you with my blue light blocking glasses. Just one of the things I'm trying to integrate into my life to make it a little bit healthier just overall. Um, and I've been having a, quite a bit of eye strain from looking at screens. Um, and as I've shared before, it increases my tinnitus um, when I'm on screens too much, which is my job. So anyway, this video is going to be about grounding. So I am going to be doing an interview coming up uh, with a friend of mine who has been struggling in this journey for a long time as well and he has sworn by grounding for quite a while now and has quite a bit more information and personal experience than me but the idea behind this video came from I watched the earthing movie the other day it's a free documentary on YouTube about grounding and so I just want to share my thoughts on it and how it might help the people in this community so before I get started, as always, I just want to mention I am doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have a free 15-minute consultation, 30-minute calls, 60-minute calls, and I offer these at lower rates than other places online. I've also put together four session packages for people who may want to meet a little more regularly, and that's at a further discounted rate. I will leave the link to my online booking calendar in the description of this video, as well as a uh, link to my website if you're interested in learning more about my story and reading my bio. I also have made longer, much longer form videos on this channel of my withdrawal journey from citalopram and Ativan mainly, but other drugs as well. And then as well as my reinstatement story, I made a detailed video on that as well. And I have that on this channel. So as usual, I don't have a lot of the scientific knowledge behind this. I haven't done super in-depth studies, but I have been in this withdrawal slash psychiatric drug space for almost six years now. I've spoken to hundreds and hundreds of people through my own YouTube channel, my old YouTube channel, sorry, this YouTube channel, my coaching, and just, you know, the general community. And so I'm just going to bring to you my opinions on this. And again, like a lot of the things in this community, it is opinions because there is not proper research done on these syndromes and not a lot of scientific, proper scientific um, evidence or support behind it, uh, withdrawal and these kindling and adverse reactions. So I don't even remember why I heard about the grounding movie or what got me started my mom had mentioned it to me I guess I don't know where she heard about it from though and I think it came out in 2019 um, and I just heard about it now so I wanted to give it a go because as I've shared before on this channel I feel about 90% recovered from my horrible psychiatric drug symptoms but I got COVID for the first time three months ago which brought on skin rashes and what I believe is either histamine intolerance or um, mass cell activation syndrome. I, I will be consulting hopefully with an expert soon. It's just quite expensive so I'm just waiting a little while and it also brought COVID along with the skin problems brought um, my tinnitus back. So I've been very open about those things and if I do take a medication which I avoid at all costs unless life or death or I have excessive stress I will have a small wave. It's nothing like it used to be. It's not debilitating, but I will start to get some of those symptoms back shortly, like inner vibrations, um, that electric electricity feeling, some of the mental stuff, anxiety, uh, those types of things. Again, they're much milder than they ever were before, and they have to have a specific trigger. So I pretty much feel well all the time otherwise and I'm functioning almost at 100% but I still have to be careful about stress and and those types of things like that I just mentioned so I thought I would watch this movie my mom and I and daughter all watched it well my daughter's young so she didn't really watch it but she was present and the idea behind grounding from what I understand is um we take in the electrons from the earth and it has something to do with the sun penetrating the atmosphere, the ionosphere, I believe, and then lightning, something charges the ground. And basically, if we stand barefoot on the earth, we pull these electrons in through our body and it greatly helps reduce inflammation. It stimulates the parasympathetic nerve nervous system response, which we so desperately need. And I'm wondering too, if it also could like I have this theory, and again, this could be way off. I have several theories. I think withdrawal is multifaceted, that so many people feel this electrocuted feelings, like people will say to me, clients will say to me, I feel like I'm plugged into a socket. I feel like I am electrified. I had that own experience myself. They'll say, I feels like my nerves are electric or plugged in. And I'm wondering if we 
are not in that delicate range. Like maybe the electricity in our bodies has a delicate range, just like our acidity levels or like our pH levels and like our body temperature levels. They have to stay in this pretty narrow range in order for us to be healthy or even alive. So I don't know if this also applies to the electric system in our body and maybe standing on the earth, maybe our bodies are just become too electrically charged, positively charged and standing on the earth brings this influx of negative electrons. I, that could be way off on that, but I'm wondering because because I have spoken to people and I will talk about and talk to this friend that I just mentioned. He will be on my channel and it's greatly helped him and in his akathisic responses, he's had a lot of very extreme symptoms um, and it's really, really, really helped him. And um, I plan on trying the grounding myself, but I live in Canada where it's still very cold and the ground is frozen. So I won't be doing that until it warms up. There are grounding mats you can buy and some type of cord that you can push through your window to plug into the ground and I think you can connect it to your bed or surfaces in your house so that you can get the earth electrons that way but it's just another tool in your toolkit so to speak um there are no negative side side effects to grounding according to this documentary that I watched and sort of the premise of it and what they set up at the beginning of the movie was this family or this couple's daughter young daughter she couldn't have been much more than two or three years old and she was chronically sick she was always getting infections she was never really healthy or well and so they were searching for i guess more natural solutions or something to help and so they started grounding so the mother would either be holding her in her arms while she was standing barefoot on the earth or the child was running around in the grass or whatever barefoot or the dirt and over time, they, I don't think they said how long it took, but it greatly, greatly improved the health of the whole family. The mother lost like 50 pounds and the daughter was not sick in an abnormal, for an abnormal, an abnormal number of times anymore. She wasn't in the ER constantly like before. And so they're just getting, there's more and more signs coming out about grounding. And so from everything I've gathered, um, you want to have your, your bare feet in the earth and it's basically shoes and the invention of rubber, rubber soles that have kept people from experiencing the earth's benefits. And so that's why you want to be barefoot. Actually, in the movie, the lady was told by a doctor, I don't know if this was an allopathic doctor or a functional medicine doctor, to lay naked in the on the earth. And so she she's like, that just sounded crazy to her, but she ended up doing it. And she laid naked in her backyard and I guess like it it really changed her life because she started doing this regularly. And anyway, so I, I'm just, it's it's just another thing I wanted to mention because everybody in this space is, is experiencing sympathetic nervous system dominance. And so if we can hug a tree or get our feet into the earth and start to calm our systems down I don't know how long the effects last I'm not sure I, I know you're supposed to do it for at least 30 minutes at a time but I don't know how long of a time um like over the course of days weeks months that you're supposed to do it in order to feel the the, the most benefit I'm not sure on that I'm not really clear on that but I I know that you're supposed to do like 30 minutes at a time and so I encourage you to, to try it. They talk about, like I said, tree hugging and being on the earth, which sounds really crazy and kind of far out there. But I know most people in this space are willing to try anything. And like I said, they said there's no negative side effects. And yeah, it's just something to explore and to try. And like I said, I'm going to be putting it to use once the weather gets warmer. I think that it's, again, if it lowers the inflammation in the body, whatever's going on in our systems, I think that will all be beneficial. The anti-inflammatory benefits, the parasympathetic kicking in that grounding can bring on, it's all positive. Um, so yeah, those are just my thoughts on it. And again, I'm going to be interviewing my friend here in about a week and posting it to my channel who has a lot of experience in this space and who also is uh, drug injured. So stay tuned for that. I maybe will make an announcement on YouTube for exactly when that will be um, filmed and published. So I want to know, have you guys tried grounding uh, either before you went into this condition or since? And what has your experience been like? Uh, I'd be curious to know because I've mentioned in other videos all of the sort of general things that I recommend to sort of help you through this journey but I think grounding can be another one to add to that list so again let me know in the comments if you've tried this and what your experience has been and do you think that the electrical theory has any merit to it I need to do more research into this it's just a time 
a time constraint factor for me. And I wanted to mention too, I recently made a video about the tinnitus course that I took and the subset or the the book that came along with it that I've also read. And he talks about, so his theory is that tinnitus is much more of, a, of an electrical problem than a chemical problem. So he swears by grounding as well. And he said, you need to get your feet in the earth if you're someone who has tinnitus, because it has to um, change the electrical, I don't think he said charge in the body, but the electrical state, I guess, that your body's in um, is off balance and it's affecting the ear. And so he talks about, he has all these pillars, like I mentioned before, but one of the things that he said everybody should be doing, even people who don't have tinnitus, is grounding because of all of the uh, positive effects it has on the health of the human body um, and animals as well. It mentioned in this documentary how animals who have their hooves or their paws or whatever in the earth generally don't have the diseases that domesticated animals have who live in the homes of their owners and tend to get the same types of illnesses that their owners have. So again, maybe off on a tangent there, but give that movie a watch. I actually will put a link to it in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm trying to read the comments more. I don't always get to them. Um, and give me your feedback on this topic. I would love to hear it. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing okay and I'll see you next time. Bye.